Maybe. I just, okay, my sit down. I want to hear about your house in Fiji. This is unbelievable. So you'd retired from the acting business, right? Yes, totally retired. We are running, so. Okay, totally retired. <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm a frustrated. No, I played ahead. a hairdresser once in the stuntman. I know that. Tool. Yeah, and I well, I retired from I, I retired from Fiji. I retired from the business. Retired from Fiji. And I went to I went to Fiji. Right, right. And um, I built this I built this house. I, I got I got early retirement, and I got a great big hunk of money, and I I I bought I bought uh, five acres for twenty thousand American. Which is that's unbelievable in Fiji. It was like ten thousand. Yeah, ten thousand dollars. I built a house, and you know, as I built a house, and as as money came in for my pensions and stuff like that, I just built the house. I built it. I built it was like one hundred fifty thousand Fijian. Yeah, but it was like less American, you know, or maybe it was I don't know. But I built what I did was I built a great big structure, and then I built little places where if somebody came that had their own space to sleep. You know, for oh, guests. What a dream. And I thought if I ever sold it, it could be like an itsy bitsy resort almost. It mm -hmm. could be like, a, it, and the whole place is made of Vessi wood. Vessi wood is like, um, the beams are great big. It's all Fijian inside. It's like a Fijian yeah. style place. It's all, it's all Fijian and everything. And, um, it's it's and the, and the wood the woods over there are incredible. I mean, I've got I've got a mango wood on walls and I've got oh I've got all this fabulous wood and Vessi and the floor and so when do you go back then? Do you, do you go I go I go well I ha I do go back just to check on things and uh, the villagers in 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 on my island are in Benga I'm on my island is Benga which is called the fire walking island and um, um, the and and that's where uh, Tony Roberts went when you remember just walking on coals and stuff Yes, do you I remember know that? I do. I do. Well, that's Benga. That's the fire walking island. And I'm right in between two, three, there's a, there's a, there's a, you know, it's all islands out there. Mm -hmm. So I'm on Benga Island and, and there's two huge, really expensive resorts on either side of me, you know, for property value that's good for me, you know, to have like really expensive, you know, it's like five, it's like $5,000 a night to stay in these resorts. And then there's like a Stewart Island, which is like a 20 minute boat ride from my house. It's just 20 minutes. And uh, Stewart Island, there is a very exclusive resort there. So I, 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 I kind of like, I'm very good at, with property. I, I, I got 17 acres in Topanga, and I live on three acres in Topanga, and I've got three rentals. I have, um, and I, I live in one, rent out the other two, so I, I could always do stuff. But I had a mis I made a mistake because I got involved with a guy, but I was with him for 30 years. He was a writer, producer, director, uh, businessman, and he took over everything, you know, took over all my assets and stuff and I put my head in the sand and he managed to get his name his name on everything that I have oh, so no. it's like I've got to outlive him because otherwise if I go to take him to court it's like and I've gone to several I've gone to a whole bunch of I've gone to like 20 lawyers wait, wait, are you are you still so. with this gentleman or not oh no 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 he tried oh. to kill me in Fiji really? he literally tried to kill me what, what and happened? well I well, we were, it, it was, he just, uh, I got, I got raped over there and he just, he just, he just, he didn't even come to find out anything and I found out that he had paid somebody like $10,000 to kill me. He said he gave him five, you know, it was Christian money, but he gave the five and then oh, he was going to give them more, yeah. I mean, this is an American. You can't extradite him and get him back for conspiracy oh, I, to I don't want to have to do that. Oof. I, I, I don't want, you know, it's like he runs, he's smart, and, and my money is not the only money that Hi, folks. <laughs> oh, hello. Victoria Red, Red's there. Time, Red time. who? Red Stall. Say you less Red Stall. Red Stall. Red yeah, Say it again for the audience to know. Oh, yeah. Hi, my name is Victoria Red Stall, and I feel like I'm the host. To get rid John's the host. Um, Victoria Red Stall. Sharon Farrell. Sharon Farrell. And I'm this is the method actor speaks, and we're having an open conversation. 
Oh, what do I do? Yes. How dear, isn't that cute? Yeah. Um, well, I do uh, various different things, but I'm actually an author, an investigative journalist, and obviously not a hairdresser. Because <laughs> <laughs> hair my hair is gorgeous. gorgeous. No, it it's just gorgeous. always all over the place. It's, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. As I put you my know, I head in her breasts. No, you know what? I think you should sit on this side because you can see more of your face. Oh, because okay. your hair is kind of covering. No, I do all sorts of stuff. I'm a criminologist, an investigative journalist, oh an my author, God. and a spokesmodel. So I do a lot of stuff because you got to do it all. And I and actually, I'm, I hate to say I'm an actress too because I just did a movie. I thought I was out of the acting business because I don't kind of enjoy the mentality and the space oh. behind the acting business. Oh. So I got out of it. But I just did a, a movie on Friday where I played the Ann Coulter type, very obnoxious, loud news anchor type. Oh, I love her. Kind of I love acting. her. She's such a character. I love her too. She? I mean, she's fabulous. She, like and she, she is so fantastic because she makes Thank herself you. gorgeous. And she's a strange looking critter from outer space. Oh my gosh, are you talking about Ann Coulter? How funny. Yeah, isn't she? I, do you know, I haven't seen I mean, much of her, but I know she's very outspoken. Oh, but I'm very outspoken. Well, she's tall and blonde, and her hair's really long, and she writes books one right after another, and she says it like, I mean, she says yeah, she it says like her it. up. She's, a, she's opinionated, and uh, yeah, that's I, me, that's I don't me. even care. I, I I just love her as a character. She's just I love Bill O'Reilly. I love, I love her uh, too, but I, I know Bill O'Reilly a little bit better because he's the male version of me. But I'm, oh, I'm, I'm that's very good. opinionated. I think that he, like, really? yeah. I think he should, I think Jack, he, he reminds me of uh, Jack Nicholson. I was going to say, Jack Nicholson! Yes! Jack Nicholson, yes! Bill O'Reilly, and Simon yes! Cowell, I am the female version of. I'm telling you the truth. With the morals of Princess Diana, but the personality and the opinions and the contradiction. I mean, I contradict myself all the time. Is Bill O'Reilly. Oh, I love Simon people Cowell. that are hi hypocrites. I love hypocrites. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm apparently totally a hypocrite. hypocrite. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I am, and I'm totally stupid. I am, and too. I'm con not just controversial. There's another thing I where I kind that. of contradict myself. I'm a dichotomy. You're a dichotomy too? I don't I'm even know what that word means. <laughs> dichotomy, it's like, for example, I I think, tell me if I'm right, John, a dichotomy, oh, the other hair's gone. Thank no, you so much for saying bloody it's hair. Get rid of it, we need a pair of scissors. No, no, it. your hair's perfect, I'm fixing it. I'm your hairdresser. Thank you. Um, I a dichotomy, a dichotomy is, is like you believe someone is one way and really they're the total opposite. For example, I am outrageously full of energy. I'm at the gym every morning by 7.30 in the morning. However, nobody realizes I'm home every night. I go out if there's a dinner function to go to. to if a it's for business for, or, or, or friends or, or friends, or really. But groups, I go out in groups to dinners, or I'll, oh. I'll I'll go to a function or an event. I don't like parties. I don't go out on Halloween. I don't dress up. I don't like the zoo. I don't like party. And obviously, I'm not a partier. I don't go to nightclubs ever. I don't do anything like that. So I'm a homebody. I cook. I stay home. But if you don't know me and you see me with all this passion and love of life and excitement and at the gym I've got all this passion and everything you think my god I bet she's outrageous you know or I bet she's on drugs or I bet she drinks lots of coffee oh she's I bipolar definitely thank you I rest my case yes I rest my case I think it's a disgrace that us European girls are even put in the same category as, the, as these psychotic women that are bipolar I didn't even know what the word bipolar was till I came to this country I didn't even know what well, that's a stupid word anyway well it, it is it's, it's my a made up thing. It's nothing. It's a it's made up stupid. thing. It's another American it's, made up thing. It's another thing for the drug companies yeah. to make uh, to, to to put us on drugs. I agree, but what That's I'm like what I'm saying is awful. I think that that what happens is in California because there are so many people with imbalances and mental problems and mental issues that if someone doesn't know me and they see this girl with so full of life they will get the complete wrong opinion of me. They must think that I have down days. I don't have down days. Something has to go hugely wrong in my life for me to be upset about that reason. I don't have any issues with bipolar. I don't get moody like these women in LA once a month with their period. And those are the women that want equal rights. Oh, I, don't, I don't want equal rights. I love oh, it being I a man's world. I don't oh. agree with that. Feminists are masculinists. They're not feminists. If feminists were, were, should be called feminists, they'd be more feminine and they'd want to look after their man and cook for their man when he comes home. But oh no, they want to be men. They want to be men. Yeah, Hence the color thing of it is, we do want to be men, but then we find out we can't even grow one of those things. There's no way we can be men. But we can't. We're women. But my, my yeah, and I know, but, it, but in serious... Yes, these a lot of women in LA want to be men, yeah. and it's, what it's doing. It's making a breed of males here in California that are really, excuse my language, but they are a bunch of pussies. Yeah, and they are. A if lot I'm of them not, are. they are. They want to be kept. 
Yeah, well, no, I'm not thinking that. I just well, think, I that, think why, that a lot of want to be tapped. They want to be taken care of. I mean, I, I mean, I just end up one man after another. I'm paying for this. I'm paying for that. I'm, you know, I, I I'm like, I'm like their mother or something. Well, no, I've never had that experience. I just no. find that there's. A, I, I go to what a. What kind gym. of men do you go find? Well, I'm very lucky. I have wonderful relationships. Yeah. <laughs> Most of them have been Englishmen. Well, I've only had probably five relationships in my life, and three were Englishmen. Mm -hmm. um, one was a news anchor over here. Um, one, I've had, I went six, actually six relationships of my life and three were Englishmen. So and wonderful, wonderful relationship wonderful. now. I never answer that question only oh, because really? I don't know where this tape's going to go. Yeah. So I'm oh, really, very private about my Yeah, family. yeah, and if they see, yeah, and, yeah, I yeah, and they get all upset. And I live in hiding, I live in secret, nobody knows where I live, uh, nobody knows how many people live in the house, nobody knows anything. We are so different. I, I put my address on Facebook, I put my <gasps> phone number on there. I do not worry about things. I, I, I really do. I just let it all hang out. <laughs> I mean, I, I respect. I, I have I, a lot of stalkers. I have, a, I have a lot of stalkers, and and they stalk in different areas. They'll stalk me online. Well, that's probably why I was raped. I'm very, very, very <laughs> private. I, I don't. I wasn't. I, I didn't have. I didn't have computer. I didn't do any kind of computer thing when I was in Fiji. Though I wasn't allowed in the computer room. You know. I've never been to Fiji. What a wonderful place. Oh, our house. it is. It has. It has some wonderful qualities. It really does. I mean, you can stick a you can stick a twig in the ground and you'll have a plant. I mean, you just you know, papaya seeds. You just sprinkle them out and cover them up with dirt, and you've got like a papaya tree grows high, really high, fast. You know. Yeah. And it, it is wonderful. It is wonderful. And I, you know, I, I just have done all my dreams. Is what I've done. But it's funny because I've come back here. And it's like, act, I found out that acting is just really so much fun. It's just fun. And I like what's going on. I, even though I gripe and complain about, you know, it's like uh, yeah, you know, with the unions and everything, um, the way that unions are now, it's like uh, you can go FICOR and uh, you can work non-union. I've done like 23 big, huge movies. And, and, and I've done three television series and like from Wag, you know, I'm talking about show, you know like early shows in my career when I was like like 18, 19 years old, uh, naked cities in New York and, and you know just plays and I've just worked my whole life for 50 years. And it's like I came back and I just thought I could just step in, but it's not. It's a whole, it's an electronic kind of world. It's mm -hmm. a computer world. The producers and the directors are not there. They're on location someplace else because they can shoot. They yes. can shoot somewhere else a lot cheaper. Right. And yeah. the towns that they go to, the, the people just fall over backwards and <clears throat> just help them make the movie so they can do that even cheaper. And it's all set up so, uh, you know, if you don't produce, you gotta produce your own stuff. Is it, what it gets today, you do. You got and, and you, you can do, do it. But I was going to ask you. you you're a, you're a crime reporter. Yeah, yeah, I do a lot. Can of you tell us a little bit about that? I brought my book with me. It's my bag. If you want oh, to go show get it. it, let's go get it. Let's where I'll go get it. I'll go get it. Tell me where it is. Wherever my bag is around the corner. I'll go get it. Wherever I plant it in the kitchen. Okay. Is I so I've done. I write books. I've, I've co-authored two, but I've done my own book, which is my third book, which is my one on my own, and it's my experiences on death rows and interviewing serial killers and getting into the mind of five serial killers. I've interviewed a lot more than five, but this is this book, thank you, in that bag right there. I'm going to bring you the bag. The bag that looks like a suitcase. The bag that looks like I live in it. This one. Well, I carry, I carry around, I carry around, uh... <laughs> one shoe, two shoes. Oh, I I was that, yeah, shoes. you really have to, you have to have, oh, there you are, serial That's, killers. This is, this is my, my, my book, which was actually number 33 on Amazon. Really? A year ago. Did you self-publish? No, I've never self-published. Never self-published. I've heard it's a good thing to do, but no, I've had people pursue me. So who's your editor? My editor was somebody from John Blake Publishing that they gave me an editor to edit the book. So mm -hmm. I don't quite know who the... Uh, the editor was John Ward, John Wordsworth was the editor, but it's he's a man in England. So, I mean, I've never self-published. I'm not... I don't even know how to market myself, so I don't bother. Um, so if, if I'm approached... I, I want to do everything. What's in the book? I, I'm what is the book? Track of, of everything. Yeah. It's five serial killers that I have met and interviewed over the years. I've met a lot more than five, but this is the book oh, on just that five. that must be scary. No, it's really meeting not. Up. It was meeting the first one, it was scary. But um, but was, not after when you Wayne get in the mind. Adam Ford. Yes, he. Yeah. What did he do? He uh, he killed a load of prostitutes, and then he turned himself in with a woman's severed breast in his pocket, and he's the wor first serial killer to have turned himself in in the history of serial killers that I've ever known. 
So that was a unique story, the fact that there was a victim that was never identified, plus he turned himself in. Keith Hunter. Jesperson. He's the happy face killer. He's uh, very proud of what he's done. And killed prostitutes. It's just very sad. They go sad. after they, prostitutes a they, lot, huh? Sadly, they go after prostitutes and not what America might think. The America wants you to think it's because they're easy targets. That's a small part of it. They go after prostitutes because they think they're scum. They go after homeless people because they think they're scum. They have a target to Like them. they're losers and they didn't try. No, that they degrade womanhood. That they degrade oh. females. They, that's oh, what, like a prostitute. Almost well, like God, a religious. For gosh thing. sakes, Jesus was hanging out with a whore. Well, I, yeah, I don't know that story. I know, but Mary... Well, yeah, Mary, you do. Well, Mary, yeah, I know, Everybody but... they know she was a whore and she was, you know, she, she was washing her hair with... I mean, she was, you know, washing her feet. hair with his feet, with his feet... Well, I don't I know why the other way around. The I'm modern kind of dyslexic. The modern, the modern man that, let's say, for example, if a man, a regular man, yeah. a serial killer, uses a prostitute, they don't usually respect that person. Sadly, they don't respect a prostitute. They treat them badly. They use them and dump them. Now, a serial killer is an extension of that regular man. So the regular man who uses and dumps a, a prostitute will still go home and have a girlfriend that love and respect and bring them flowers. And a serial killer is an extension of that regular man. Uses, dumps, and abuses the prostitute, but takes the final step of taking the life, which is horrific. And the same serial killer can love his wife, his family members, and respectable ladies out there. And it's just their mentality is they don't see that that person should live. And that's They're a They're doing them mentality. a favor. They're thinking that they're doing the world a favor, yeah, which is not the world and maybe them if they believe in reincarnation or something. I don't know what they believe. Okay, in what area. about uh, Gary Ray Bowles? Gary Ray Bowles is the nicest serial killer I've ever met in my entire really? life. You in my entire life, I actually do care about Gary Ray Bowles very much. Why? What the problem with Gary Ray Bowles is he's not a typical serial killer. He did not enjoy. Excuse me, popping out. I've obviously put on. Looks work. great. Um, <laughs> so that's how I popped out. You pop out on top. It'll I'm not popping really out on top. I'm popping out here, just around the stomach. <laughs> the audience will love the ladder. Right. Oh yeah. So she's popping out on top. I'm popping out right here. And I got the controls. Oh, you got those legs. But yeah. you, not gonna pop out there. You'll have to sit on the couch so they can see your legs. Gary great. Ray Bowles is a serial killer in in Florida, and actually, I'm doing a show right now uh, on Amy. Uh, right now, I don't want to say the name of the show, but I'm currently producing. Why and not? Well, I'm doing, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the kid. I don't want to say it. Okay, okay, I can say it. Okay. Say it. I'm doing the Killer Speaks. The two top shows on A and E with longevity is the first Body Eight and the Killer Speaks. The same. That's great. And I'm doing that Killer with Gary Ray Bowles and producing part of it and all that. So I'm, so Gary Ray Bowles is a serial killer, not like any other serial killer. He didn't enjoy the trawling for the victims. He didn't enjoy the actual killing, and he certainly didn't enjoy getting rid of the body How because did he, he kill? didn't get rid of the body. How did he kill him? Each one was different. Again, it's a mess. Most serial killers have one victim type and what, well actually sorry he had that but one way of killing and what he would do one day he'd, he, he'd shoot a guy one time he'd hit them over the head. Guys? Goes, he, guys yes, too? He was a male prostitute and he would kill what he believed in his mm. mind were child molesters. Oh. And two, oh, yeah, I can see how you could get into that and not like it, but have to do it to stop things from happening. Right. I could see his mindset. I, right. You know, that I could see an actor playing that role and, and, and really getting Well, there is one on, on HBO with, with Dexter. Dexter, yeah. Oh. Uh, Gary's not arrogant. He's not a serial killer that's arrogant. He's got a very low IQ. So he doesn't fit the... Well, he doesn't fit the profile of a typical serial killer, demographic of a regular serial killer. So he believed that they were all seven men were, were child molesters. I, I know that the first two were because he saw a tape and that's when he snapped because he was molested at nine. Oh. So it brought back the memory. So this man had sex with a young boy and it was his roommate. So he bludgeoned him to death the moment he got home. Okay, it, what about the street slayer? Well, no, let's go one more say I want to know why you feel, why you like him. Oh, I, I've never oh, known yeah. oh, why I like Gary Ray Bowles. I yeah. care for him. Care for him. As I, I'm going to say care as opposed to like. I mean, like that, you know, like I've got to be like careful with the words. Word, I'm yes. not friends with serial killers. It's what, you know, the media like to jump you just, on You just have empathy for him. I have you, you uh, compassion. Yes, I, 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 I feel that I have a lot of empathy for people and compassion in general. Um, I, I think Gary Ray Bowles got his wires crossed with number four, five, six, and seven. I personally do not think that four, five, six, and seven were child molesters. But in Gary Ray Bowles' mind, w homosexual men were all child molesters because he was molested by yeah. a homosexual man. Um, I think he's straight. I'm not sure if he's straight. But he's got a lot of feeling and a lot of love for people. He's a good 
man fundamentally and I know that's it's just twisted it, it twisted in that area but he did kill two child molesters at least I don't know and about then the and then and then the the other five were just Nice homosexual guys, is he right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that I see. I don't know the. You don't, don't know. know. He yeah. said to me, I, I, I said, Gary, how do you know that number three was a child molester? And um, he said, Well, they would have been. I said, But you were only with him for ten minutes. And I, he said, But I know that they would have been because I said that he can come back to my home and I can put him with some thirteen-year-old boy. And he gave up the money and he was going to have sex. And then I brought him back to my home and I killed him. So, okay, so you're saying you killed him because you were almost positive he was going to be a child molester because of the... Well, know. that sounds to me, I would, I, I mean, he, he gave him, the guy gave him money and, and well, he kind of liked he, he, to have sex with a boy. He gave this guy, the, what's his name, Gary? Gary Ripples. He, they gave, he gave Gary money. Yeah. And Gary had told him that he could come back to his house and have sex with some guy, with some boy. Mm -hmm. Well, he... Sounds to me like he was a child molester. Yeah, it does sound like that, but, but you know, would he have done it? I, nobody really knows, because the guy was killed immediately. Little things like that. So How did he kill him? Which, what did, which one? One was stabbed in the heart, one was yeah. shot with a shotgun, yeah. two were bludgeoned with a stone, one was strangled with something put in his mouth. I mean, everyone was different with this guy. It was all done differently. Very hmm. different, you know? And who was next? Uh, that, I think that... I, so I, that was I, the last one? Oh. I thought I got to the end of them. See, I have the exclusive on the Grim Sleeper right now, which is... Oh, well, I figured... Okay. Uh, Robin. Robin Gack. Now, there's a lot of speculation as to whether he really did do that crime, because he is accused of being the Chicago Ripper. The Chicago Ripper. Oh, my God. And there was a group of guys... So that, you went to Chicago to, like... I went to Illinois. So you've been... You, you're, you're from England, but are you, you're living here now. Yeah, I'm a citizen. Oh, you're a citizen. Good for you. Yeah. That's great. That's she likes great. that. I'm proud of you. Oh, I don't know. It's like, I used to think America sucked. I really did. I just thought it sucked. I just, I had a, and I, and I went, I, whenever I went anywhere, when I was around, on location, any place, when I was in England, when I was in France, everybody hated Americans. Really? No, you not mine. They all hate no. Americans. I've never been to a country that loved America except Fiji. They all want to come here. Well, in France, and, they do love Jerry Lewis. <laughs> I love the French. I don't care what anyone says about the French. I love the French, but I'm in love with one country. Well, and that's I'll Spain. tell you something. The French, they kind of stink. I mean, they don't wash the clothes. You know, I don't know. I have a very, my <laughs> nose is like, that's the only thing I don't like about the French. Is, is the the B.O. They don't, yeah, the B.O. Oh. You like that? I don't mind it on a man. It's really? Yeah. Oh, I, it's gagville to me. Oh, I just can't stand it. No, oh, Spain is like that too. I just love that country. Oh, oh. I watched ooh. something last night. Oh, ewey, ewey. We, well, we could be friends because the, uh, we would not be attracted to the same kind of man. No. no. And I don't like men with six packs. I like men. Men have got to have a little stomach. If a man doesn't have a stomach, they're not a real man. In my opinion, they've got to have a stomach. You know, I don't, because you know what, men have got six-pack abs, they obviously live in a gym and they've got a face that could stop a clock, so they have to have a body that makes up for it. I do not like men with these bodies. It's about a face, it's about the eyes, it's not about the body. And it's, I don't mind if, height, I mean, what is all this thing with six-pack abs and muscles out the ear and tall guys? I do not understand that. I don't know, I, my, I've got, I'm doing this web series and the little girl on it, she's like 22 and she's just smart as whip and she, um, uh, she, she, she casts these guys, and that's what they are. They're <laughs> like they, they're, they're all just gorgeous. They're all. I mean, you talking I'm, about Pam Gillies? I, I'm no, you no. Talk about Pam. She's a friend of mine. You oh my gosh! Pam. You, you oh know my Pam. Gosh. She's a friend of mine. You, I thought you were talking about Pam because she was doing that last week, casting those kinds. Oh my gosh! I, you know, there's a Pam on the show, and I'm not sure whether her last name is. I'm not sure whether we're talking about the same person. But Carolina Silas is her name. She's the star of it. She produces it. She writes it. She directs it, and everything else. Do you know? Do you know? Um, have, do you know the web series Stuck? No, I don't. Oh, it's that. it's it's Italian. And it's it's the biggest it's the biggest one out there. And the guy just came here, and Carolina whipped him up because she really wants to just act. She doesn't want to direct. Right. And he he and he is like of course his stuff is very sexual. It's about a psychiatrist who's like he just screws everything. And his wife is the receptionist. And oh, he's he's just a scoundrel, but he's just lovable, a lovable rake. You know, just a lovable man who's just nasty as the dickens to women. 
He's just horrible. Yeah, but women deserve it. It's so women deserve it. If, if yeah. women behave like a whore, they should be treated like a whore. And I'm afraid I'm outnumbered by the women in this town that behave like whores. And I don't blame any man using and dumping women like that. Good on the man. I'm on a man's side. And this country caters too much to the woman. So that's not my kind of show. Do you think so? I think this country, and especially California, I think they cater to the women. I think women is the root of all the problems. Well, why do the men make more money than the women do? Here. But probably because they the should do. For the same job. Because they should do. You give a woman a sense of power and they run with it. They just really? run. I just, they got this chip on their shoulder, I think, with women. And I consider women not to be me. I'm not a woman. I'm a girl. And when I grow up, I'll be a lady. I will bypass the stage of woman. So when right. I say the word woman, I'm not saying it in the most Are you going to have any life. children, do you think? Maybe one day. But if, you know, I don't, I have not you're thought not, about you're, it. You're not, you're not. I've yeah. got a don't huge do career. Don't do it. Don't even do it. I've got a huge career. Do you have so, children? Talk about you. Do you have I have a child. And it, it, hormones come out at a certain age. And you want to, you want to, you want to, you want to, you want to get pregnant. It, it really, it, it happens about 29 years, you know, like. I'm a little older than 29. 29. It didn't happen to me then. It didn't? No. Well, well, I know, but it, everything's different now. You're like 22. Oh, no, you know no, what I'm, I mean? I'm in my thirties. I know. Well, I know, but uh, back when I was in my, you're like you're like younger. Everything's right. younger for some reason. Right. It's like it's a Pretty different generation. Right. I mean, I'm seventy two. You not could possible. be. You're my granddaughter. I know, but it's, it's unbelievable. You're my skin. granddaughter. It's supposed to have skin. It's just not possible. If you were 50, I'd say that's some good skin for a 50-year-old. Well, I play, I, I, I play like late 50s, and, and it's like any time I go up for anything, I, I, I'll go into a room with a bunch of white... My mother, who's 92, she looks 50. She's the one that looks like she's 70. My mother's 92. Too. Really? Oh, Do they know each other? No, no. Oh, no. <laughs> just kidding. No. And I'm two years older than he is. So I think one. that's amazing. Oh, one year. I'm one 72. Year. I'll be 73 in the next year. You'll be 73 this year. Yeah. Yeah. So you, what sign are you? A Virgo. I'm a, Virgo? a virgin. I've never met a Virgo in my entire life. What, do you, what sign Scorpio, are you? Next oh, I love Scorpios! I love Scorpios! I'm, I have Scorpio moon, but I'm a Capricorn. But I, I have Scorpio moon. Both my parents and my two of my wonderful relationships with uh, uh, ex-boyfriends and uh, were with Capricorns. Oh. One was a four and a half year one and one just, you know. Oh. Yeah, so I don't believe in any of it, but I do. I do, and I don't. You know, I mean, I I don't. You know, I have a I have a gal that um, I met a long time ago, and and um, she's a she. You know, she was a she was a, a she was a press agent's assistant. Okay. And and she 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 did all this dabbling in in you know doing you know doing horoscopes and stuff. And I just liked her. You know, I really didn't care too much about the horoscope thing, but. Um, I found her on Facebook. I love. Fa I adore Facebook. I adore I Facebook. Adore I know. I, Facebook. I do too. I, I don't do twittering. It. I don't do twittering. I don't do Instagramming. I don't do any of these silly things. Or yeah. I love Facebook. I don't even LinkedIn. I don't understand it. But yes, I love it. I'm so crazy that you love it. I'm so happy she likes it. Oh, I just love it. I, I do. love it. I, love I it was it. up until I three o'clock. No, I love Facebook. show, you know, I mean, because I couldn't sleep, I thought, oh, you know, and I'm talking to, you know, it's like I'm talking to people, and it's like, I really get to know them, they're not fans, they're friends after a while, oh, I want to be your friend, will you be my friend? Oh, yes, yes, I, I want to be your friend. I even posted this morning, because today's friends. Halloween, I don't like Halloween, I don't like dressing up, I don't like parties, I don't like people in masks, because they scare me, no, serial killers don't, but people in masks oh, do scare me. But didn't you like I, the candy? No, I, I, I eat candy on my own, I don't need to go to somebody's house. Just put the hat on. I hate Halloween. Halloween. I just hate it. This there is not go. me. There this you is go. not me. Yeah, I matter of fact, you look great. You look so gorgeous. Oh, I look really good at a witch's hat. You, you really do. Trying to tell you me something. You look so gorgeous. No, wait, 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 wait. Stay there. I'm going to take. Stay there. Oh no, no. Stay. Now I'm really embarrassed because now it looks I'm like I'm being show you. I'm going to show you. I've got. I don't family. like Halloween. I wait, stand by wait, that. I wait, wrote it on my wait. Facebook this morning. This I hate Halloween. Oh, you you really do look gorgeous. Okay, this is eleven o'clock in the morning, everybody, and nobody will see me out tonight because they don't see me out any night. Wait. The point is, Come on, I don't like work. Halloween. And I suppose you're going to put that on Facebook. Well, I, I'm great. not going to do anything. Can I get this off? I, wait, I want to take Because it, it, it makes me look like I'm a liar. I'm telling you, you look beautiful in it. I'm going to show you. No, but it makes me look like I'm a full liar. I say I don't dress up. Either. I don't like... Thank you, I'm going to take it off. I don't want to... <laughs> now all my hair's gone and you're going to have to my head. My hair's too curly. No, stop. Leave it alone. It's absolutely perfect. So anyway, I don't like Halloween. I well, think it's an overrated holiday. Are we licking our hands and putting it in my hair? Yes. I think she did that. You got a viewer. Well, every day. the next thing I, I got to tell you, ladies, really 
we, we're going to do is come back and do part two. But I want to know why you got into the business of the crime. Okay? I will let you all know that. Thank you. Do when it. we come back.